week. In this video, I'm going to be comparing uh, the iPhone 5 versus the Nexus 4 uh, using Geekbench 2. Uh, we're just going to run some benchmarks here. Uh, we'll get the uh, the full results here of the hardware of which one's faster. Um, now, there are factors like the iPhone um, is manufactured by Apple, um, and they do the software and they do the hardware. It's called vertical integration. Um, so the phone is going to work uh, smoother and better um, regardless of the hardware. Um, obviously, if you can, I'm not sure if you guys can read these specs or not, um, but we got the Qualcomm uh, Snapdragon S4 Pro, 1.51 uh, gigahertz processor on the left on the Nexus 4, and then on the right we have the iPhone 5 uh, with the uh, the A6 chip at 1.3 uh, gigahertz. Uh, now the Snapdragon 4 is a quad-core processor, and uh, the A6 I believe is dual core. I think now the GPU might be quad core. I don't remember what Apple said, but the CPU I do believe is only um, uh, dual core. But like I said, it's not gonna affect the iPhone 5 um, just because of the way Apple makes the iPhone. Rather than like the Nexus 4, um, the phone is manufactured by LG, and then the software is Google. Uh, so it's not gonna be vertical integration there, and it's not gonna run as uh, smooth. I'm not trying to be a favorite of the iPhone. Um, but it's, it's just, and from my experience, the iPhones run a lot smoother. The Nexus 4 by no means is a bad phone. Uh, it runs fast, it even opens and launches apps faster than the iPhone, uh, but overall the performance is not going to be as smooth and stable. I've had lockups on the, on the Nexus 4, um, and I had uh, apps crash and stuff like that. Uh, I get apps that crash on the iPhone every now and then, um, but either way, uh, let's go ahead and get into the benchmarks. Um, I just want to explain myself a little bit there. Uh, the RAM for both of them, on the iPhone 5 we have 160 megabytes, and on uh, the Nexus 4 we have 1.83 gigabytes, so about 2 gigs there and about 1 gig on the iPhone 5. Uh, so it's going to run the benchmarks. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. I'm not going to skip through any of it. I'll just fast forward a little bit here. I'm kind of curious to see which one finishes up faster though. And I do have, I just, uh, and I... And before I did this video, um, I did close out all the apps and the multitasking trays of both of them, um, and then rebooted the phone. And uh, I can't prove that I did that because, of course, with video editing, I could edit, I could edit that part out. Um, but I did close out all the apps, and I'll show you that right after uh, this finishes up. So they both finished at about the exact same time. Um, on the right, we have um, 1644, and on the left, we have 1988. And I'll show you guys now. Uh, you can see there's no uh, background task running on either one of these. Um, I've seen I've seen higher scores of the iPhone 5, and I've also seen higher scores with, with um, the Nexus 4. Uh, but here's an idea of both of them. Of course, the Nexus 4 will score higher um, due to its hardware. And I did just realize my, the uh, the phones are not in focus completely, so I hope that helped out a little bit there. And on both of these, um, you do get more information if you scroll down. Uh, it'll give you more information about them both. Uh, so it gets more detailed. I believe you can find all that detailed information on both of the phones on uh, the Geekbench website uh, if you're interested in that. Uh, now, like I said before, um, the Nexus 4 I did notice was uh, snappier when it comes to like opening apps and stuff. It seemed like everything loaded up faster, uh, and that would be because of the, the faster processor. Um, but let's go ahead and do some web page browsing now. Uh, both of these are on the same network. Um, let's go ahead and, and test the speed comparison of loading up web pages. So we're going to go ahead and load up YouTube here. And then we'll do a couple more uh, after this. We are running uh, Safari on the iPhone 5, of course, and Google Chrome on the Nexus 4. So let's go ahead and try this out. All right, so the Nexus 4, as you saw, was way faster than the iPhone 5. Uh, like I said, you couldn't say way faster, but you saw how fast it loaded. It's pretty much instant right there. So let's go ahead and load up the uh, the Apple website now and try that out. All right, so as you can see, uh, we got both the, the, uh, the Apple websites loaded up on the devices. So let's go ahead and try that out. And it looks like the Nexus 4 is going to win again. Ah, uh, yeah, it did. Uh, not by too much there, but it, it did It did win, of course. Uh, now let's go ahead and uh, try the Redmond Pi. I'm going to load that up. And uh, this will be the last one here, so let's go ahead and do it. And now uh, the Nexus 4 is going to win there, uh, too, again. It's just loading up some um, some ads now. Uh, actually, according to this, it looks it, the iPhone 5 says it's done loading, um, but you can see on um, the Nexus 4 one there. Uh, it just said the Nexus 4 stopped loading now, um, but you can see that the ads loaded faster on the uh, the Nexus 4. And that was pretty much it for this video. If you guys want more of a comparison between these two phones, I may in the future compare them both, like all the features, uh, ranging from design and speed and all that kind of stuff. Um, I, I know for sure I'll talk about it in my Nexus 4 review. Um, so when that's up, if you want some information about the comparisons. Um, you go ahead and watch that and I'll have some information in there to, uh, to Geekbench here. 
and um, show you the scores one more time. Uh, so there you go. Those are the scores of the Geekbench results. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate a like down below. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well if you want my future videos. Like I said, of my Nexus 4 review to come. Um, if you want to check out the other Nexus 4 videos, I do have a playlist set up. Um, so you can go ahead and click that annotation and load up that playlist and watch all the Nexus 4 videos that you'd like to. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video.